Good morning, everybody. We're uh, currently sitting at Burger King. I just got done eating breakfast. She's still eating breakfast yet. Um, but we're going to be getting on the road here in a minute. Um, we're heading down to Middle Creek Wildlife Management. For those of you locally in the area, you already know what that is. Um, for those of you that don't, it is one of six globally important um, bird migratory zones in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, it is where, depending on the year, up to 200,000 snow geese stay at that lake for a week or two um, to take a rest while they're on their way back to Canada for um, the spring and summer. Um, they head south um, late fall and into early winter, and then going towards the end of winter, they head back north. Um, so be prepared to see lots of birds today. Um, Last report that I saw was from February 9th. There is over 50,000 snow geese on the lake. So the numbers should be a little bit higher today than that. So it could be closer to 100,000 today. So I guess we'll see. The weather's good. So that usually does bring them and draw them to the lake. Um, the lake is also not frozen, which is also another factor. And the ground isn't frozen either. So it's like perfect conditions for this. So we'll see you guys on the road.
little point trail. This is the little trail that goes down to a little point to be able to see the geese. definitely colder today than it was yesterday probably by about 10 to 15 degrees you can definitely tell a storm's coming tomorrow up at home we have a winter storm warning down here it's supposed to be mostly rain there's only going to be like an inch or two down here but the winter storm warning for at home is showing six to nine inches of snow so i guess we'll see what happens there do i think we're going to get that much probably not i think up there even it's going to switch over to rain So, today, I have my camera and everything. I have full, full gear set up for today. This is usually the way I run when I do um, Montour Preserve. We'll see what we get. Mm -hmm. I think I have one of them already. Uh, I'll have to look at the paperwork and stuff that I have at home. It'd be cool to see want to like a whole flock take off like they did the one of the times I was here got a little stream here yeah like I said a lot of them were up in the spring lakes according to some of the people up
Oh. How's it going? Ooh, another little stream. You know, I'm surprised to see this many people here on a Monday. A lot of them look like they're retirees. Yeah. That or they might be, um, depending on the school districts, I don't know if the school districts down here take off work the day after the Super Bowl or not. I think Andrea was saying that they do. Up at home they do. I don't know about down here. Oh. Probably nice having a regular trail today, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> After yesterday. You got put through the ringer yesterday. <laughs> Not so much today. No. This is actually wheelchair accessible all the way to the lake. Just about. Much easier walking today versus the other day. Probably chipmunks or something like that. <laughs> that area is completely sealed off. You're not allowed in there at all. Like over here is by permit. Over there is uh, absolutely not. <laughs> See the tundra swans over there. What's up, little buddy? I'm, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't really move much. <laughs> He's down in there somewhere.
you're almost there. Oh my. <laughs> Wait till you see how many's on this lake. Wow. There's a lot. <laughs> Dang. And if you guys are wondering, that white out on the lake is... Out here we have tundra swans. I'm going to get some pictures of those here shortly. Um, out there is where all the the snow geese are. There's a lot. <laughs> this is not the most I've seen here, but it's it's up there. Probably the second most I've ever seen here. The one year I was here was their record year. There was over 200,000.
I guess we'll head back to the car. We got to see him take off twice, which was pretty cool. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, she's just taking pictures. Okay. How long until my watch is like, oh, it looks like you're working out. Do you want to start a workout? <clears throat> it did that coming down. Come more. You can still hear the swans. And of course the geese too. Yeah. again <laughs> want to get any more photos of him yeah, I got a couple Flying again. Yep. <laughs> See you hopping around in there, little buddy. Oh, and then you're on the tree branch. Do you see it? 
I lost it though. It's out there now. It's hopping around. There's another one hopping around over here too. Actually, a couple of them in there. They're um, dark-eyed juncos. Is what they are. Just little guys. They're in the songbird family. Yes, I love bird watching. <laughs> I can identify just about every bird from Pennsylvania by sight and by sound. Proof in point, when we were up at the pagoda and I'm like, I hear a pileated woodpecker, you're probably like, I don't know what that sounds like, but okay. <laughs> I don't see it, but I, I, I will, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> You're probably like, how do you even know what that sounds like? Sit in the woods long enough. <laughs> Spend enough time in the forest. You'll learn birds really quick. Especially if you just take time and just stop and listen to your surroundings and, and look at your surroundings. Why are you wearing orange, dude? I know we're on state game lands, but... No hunting. <laughs> no. The area we're in right now is restricted. Yeah. It's only open right now because of people coming to watch for the migration. Here's the plane, but I don't see the plane. How you doing? Hi. It's probably off in the distance a little bit. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. That's what I do it for. <laughs> oh. I could have worked to lose my mind. No. That's not what that means. It basically means to clear it. Perfect example. Other than the birds, what have you been thinking about? Nothing. Exactly my point. <laughs> well, you think you think her every once in a while, also. Exactly my point. You've been thinking about the birds and nothing else. Your mind is totally blank minus what we're there for to see the birds. I bet you never even gave that a thought either, have you? There's something a little over there. Give me a second to find it. I hear it. Sounds like a junco. Mouse or something. Nope. Right on the floor. Behind the bushes. Yeah, that's a junco. It's a little bird. It's only about this big. It's not an adult. Yeah, that or it's a female, one of the two. It's kind of hard to see through the brush. Yeah, right back there. That's, that's a junco. They're common this time of year. They're winter birds. Yeah, I heard movement and saw something small. Yeah, it just flew up into the branches over here now. 
I hear a squirrel over here somewhere. Oh, I gotta stop there. Uh, photos later. Yeah, all right. Wasn't an eagle, but it is a hawk. It's kind of hard to see, but it's up there flying around. Now, where's the squirrel? Where are you at, buddy? He's up in a tree. Definitely not at ground level. There he is. <laughs> You see him? No. That's okay. I got a couple pictures of him. You hear him chewing on the walnut. Yeah. Can you point my hand up in the direction of where he's at? I just heard a mallard. Got him. <laughs> You're probably like, I don't even see him. How do you see him? <laughs> Spent a lot of time in the forest. <laughs> Once I find him? No, I was able to hear him before I was able to see him. Once I found him in my frame, it's when I take a 50 million photos of him. It's the one thing I love about this camera is I don't have to take 50 million. I can take four and then I'm done. <laughs> No, oh, granted, I was exaggerating because I was just clicking away. That's a lot of briars. <laughs> yeah. Whole thing is nothing but green briars. <laughs> well, let's not go trekking through them. You sure you don't want to do uh, round two? No. For more than one reason. Yeah. Yeah. We went from exploring World War II bunkers to looking at birds. <laughs> Polar opposites. It's okay. That's a deer run. Definitely a deer run. Yeah. Don't know where it would have came from though. Yeah. Down the woods somewhere. Hmm. Looks like right through here maybe. Possibly. It's kind of hard to tell because that's open field. Yeah. So, when I told you we were going bird watching, I was expecting something a, a bit bigger. What do you mean by bigger? 
Like more of a longer trail than that. Yeah. Mile round trip. <laughs> I told you today was going to be easier. If we would have went to um, Raymond's Kill and Dingman's Falls, um, those are only like a mile trip total as well. This was closer, and this only occurs once a year. So it was a no-brainer to come here over going to them waterfalls. The waterfalls are always going to be there. Yeah. The birds, in a week or two, will be gone. Did you watch the trail video I sent you last night? A little. Which is why I referenced it in the beginning of... Before we went down. Yeah.
so we were going to originally just go right back to the house, but because of we were only just a few minutes away, I decided we were going to come here to Sweet Arrow Lake. Um, what's here, other than the lake, is actually a waterfall. Um, it's called Sweet Arrow Falls. We're going to take the little trail that goes out to the falls and show you that. Um, so we'll see you on the trail. Oops. Go down here and give you a close up of the lake. There's a path that goes down and then there's a couple steps and then you're basically right at the lake. I've always thought this is a pretty lake. Um, some of the engagement pictures that I've done were underneath this trestle here. Some along these rose bushes that normally bloom at that sign. And then back at the waterfall, of course. Oh, it's just called uh, Waterfall Trail. <laughs> I bet you don't have your handle. What do you mean? Oh, this, this water's not clear. Oh. Don't worry, I already thought of that. I actually have my handle in the car. I have all the equipment needed to do underwater here, but this water's not clear at all. It's murky. I w wonder what all they do here. That there's... Well, this is actually a place for weddings. Oh. So what I mean about it's a path down and then you got a couple steps and you're basically there. <laughs> Wasn't kidding. This one's a high one. The last one. Go this way. It's not quite Wait as high. There. Need help getting down? Use my shoulder. It's a high one. <laughs> That's a high step. So yeah, now we're already at the bottom of the, where the water is. But yeah, see if you look. Here the water's clear, but out there it's but, not. But out there it's like, it's murky as soon as you hit that rock, which is only five feet out. Now, do you see why that step, step is so high? It's almost like there's a step missing. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. You can see that one's like double the height of the rest of them. So you've been in Pine Grove, but you've never been here. We got to get you out into nature more. Working on it. Not always does our work schedules work out. Well, that's a big part of the problem. Yeah. Let me get off this rock so you can look down that way. If I could, I would just do this full time. That is kind of the end goal, is to grow my channel and brand large enough to where I can just do this. I mean, I already, I already work for Knobles, so I'm already there with that part. That 
would be nice, but you have a, a lot more subscribers than I do. Well, the majority of my subscribers that I have are because of music, not because of the vlogs. Yeah. I have picked up a couple from the vlogs, but not not many. Most of mine are because of the daily vlogs. Mm hmm You still gotta film some. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say you wanna film a couple days worth? Yeah, since like the third. Oh, so you have the third to now. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Today's the twelfth. <laughs> it's only nine days. Yeah, only nine days worth of uh, two vlogs. You see, so eighteen vlogs. That's fine. Ah, oh, that's nothing. It'll only take you a couple hours. Yeah. Watch that rock. I found it too. <laughs> Thank God I'm pretty well balanced when I'm walking. <laughs> Guess we'll see how much better this sounds with putting the microphone on here instead of on me. Because I noticed in the one the one video I did, you could hear like every breath I took. Yeah. <laughs> that Tuesday. Yeah. Tu you could hear every freaking breath I took, every single one. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, it almost sounds like he's out of breath. But yeah, at the same time, you know, I'm not. It's yeah. it, it's just for whatever reason when I'm moving. I'm pulling more, well, actually not for whatever reason. When I'm more active, I'm pulling more air in. Because that definitely wasn't enough to get me out of breath. Yeah. Because that only took my heart rate to, I think, like 115 or 120. Which, it's elevated. But I'm also moving at the same time. It's not like Double Run where it was 163 going up that one hill. <laughs> that one hill sucked though. So did you try and kill Tim and Kurt or was it the other way around? Uh, Tim and Kurt. Well, that was a side effect of that trail. I kind of want to do that trail again, but with you. I mean, it, it has difficulty to it, but that's, that is an absolutely gorgeous trail. That is so pretty through there. And now with having this lighter weight set up that's easier to manage, I, I think I'd have an easier time walking it. Because that was both of our problems. Is we we both had, at the time we were still using our phones. We weren't using our the the action cameras, so we had heavy setups. You know, this isn't quite all that heavy. Yeah, but here's the thing. When I was using that handle, I I had to shift the phone in the shift cam, and then on top was this receiver with the cable running to it too. The shift cam weighs probably as much as that whole thing by itself. So you're doubling the weight and then you're walking, you know, three miles with it. It it doesn't seem heavy, but when you're walking it and you have trails that are only, you know, six to eight inches wide in spots, every little bit of weight difference can throw your balance off. Yeah. Because there's spots where, like I said, the trails was literally as wide as these blocks. Like... Uh, Kurt, yesterday with the backpack? Yeah. As soon as he took it off, one stand up, he felt drunk? Yeah. Because you got to remember, so we're holding, we're holding the, the, the handles, so we're actually not balanced on weight. We're actually leaning to a side in a way. Yeah. I'm good. Is 
dock down here. Mm-hmm. We never went this way. That didn't sound good. Scenic Circle Trail. <laughs> Loud bang, and then I hear sheep. <laughs> you just hear. <"Bah." laughs> I don't want to know. I kind of hope when we get to the waterfall, it's less green than what it was the last time. Although, I'm wondering if it's still going to be. Because look what color the water is now. It's, it's, it's greenish even now. We just have to make sure that that doesn't say, you know, that it's a private dock or anything before we go out there. Yeah. I don't think it is, but... Boats propelled by electric motors are permitted on this lake. I wonder why only electric motor. I wonder if maybe this is water supply. Mm. Okay. I think they might want to update their paperwork. 2010? <laughs> um, that was 14 years ago. Floating docks are fun. Where's Mateo? <laughs> huh? He's at home. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pull a Mateo. Now this one doesn't move as much because of the poles. That sucks. Wonder how deep the water is down here. Huh? The poles have them anchored. Yeah, I know. You can't sway it back and forth too much. <laughs> huh, there's a rock right there. So I guess it's not it's not too deep. <laughs> Look at our ripples. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a couple down here, too. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get you guys a little bit closer. As the, as the phone will clunk. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going in for it. <clears throat> Bloom. Well. What happened to your phone? Well. Well, you see, it's kind of down there. In like, you know, three or four feet of water. That's why you get one of these nice handles here. That and, you know, this setup is waterproof too. Yeah, we can be pirates. Yeah, we, we can. We 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 can be drunk without being drunk. My brothers are jerks. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, there's a tree 
still in there. Yeah, I found it. It tried to trip me, but it failed. Guys, let's try harder next time. That's usually you that trips on the tree branches. Hey, that was a weird... That tripped me. Oh. Messed up your knee, too. <laughs> I remember that. That was not good. What, we got a package exchange going on over there? <laughs> the Something. Because they're back to back. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm still moving. How about you? <laughs> feel like you're still moving? A little. Yeah. <laughs> or if it's anything to do with shaking the dock back and forth. Who knows? And then causing ripples to go three quarters away across the lake. I'm kind of surprised that you've never been here. Because, I mean, this really isn't even that far from home either for you. No, it's about a half an hour. Mm hmm. And even for me, this is only like half an hour, 40 minutes. Did we lock the doors in the car? I don't remember. One way to find out. Click the button. When we get closer to the car, we'll. I didn't know that's what you were going for. nature do I need to say more oh. weather channel winter storm warning what's wrong with this picture Why is the bench on the wrong side of the fence? I have no idea. <laughs> um, actually, there's an opening right here. Never mind. Opening. So this is actually a braille trail. It's actually what this rope is for, for people to hang on to. And then here's the braille. I always forgot about this. Yeah, here. Back we go. This trail is actually pretty cool. It's going to turn into a boardwalk trail. I've been on this one a couple times. Here's more information. 
Might be the same information. Nope. Feel free to pause the video and take a picture. Not take a picture, but you know what I mean. Read it. Aspen tree here. That's what we put in the uh, the little guys' cages. This is really nice in the what in the world? Ha! <laughs> um, those shouldn't be coming up. It's a bit too early for that. Oh, next sign. any of these signs, feel free to pause them to read them. That is 100% true. <laughs> what? about it being slippery when it's wet. So right here is where the, the lake goes into the creek and then the creek flows down through. We are now going to be following the creek until we hit the waterfall. There's a bridge that goes across as well, which I'll make sure I go over across and show you guys the bird's eye view of the waterfall sign. Oops. Missed the sign. Hang on. You turn. Okay, let's try this again. This is cool how it's like along the side here. Oh, next sign. Pretty tall. It says it's 50 feet, and then that's the sapling. And there's the creek. The water's not as green as it was when I was here last time. You can hear the waterfall in the distance now. That's where they have it cut out. As you can 
you see, that's a big boy. It's not, I mean, that's pretty wide for a conifer tree. Next sign. That would be this tree here. It looks like it's actually dead. Waterfall's getting louder. Hey, did you know that there's a trail going up that way? Uh-huh. Where, where it goes? No idea. I've only ever been to this park just a handful of times and I don't really know where where every where everything goes. This one here is the uh, white pine tree. That's that's a big boy. Actually, no, it's this one. That's the white pine. This is the hemlock because it talks about a sap spot, hardened sap spot right here. You can see where there's a little bit of moisture in it. That's a waterfall, that's not rapids. <laughs> that's a straight waterfall. To your right.
the other side. All right, let's go give you a different view of this, or I can take some pictures then. Then I'm gonna come back up here. And get some, actually, no, I'm just gonna stop this video for a little bit and take some pictures quick. Now for the better view. Uh huh. Yes, climb down the side of a mountain. That's good. Shit. She's probably about ready to kill me again here in a minute. This part here, you step down backwards. Make it easier. Because that's a really, really, really high step. And now we got this view. Let's we'll stop for a second to help her down here. Uh, one last look at the waterfall, and then I gotta climb up this little bit of the hill. Really, not that. I mean, it's only like maybe five feet. It's more just a matter of making sure you got strong footing. Was that any better going up or down? Oh, you definitely better going up. Me, about the same. Onward. That way is nothing. Valley. That is um the the disc golf course. that and it's three o'clock we can't be going too far because of hitting hitting dark night darkness I ain't worried so much about supper What hole number is it? Eight four three two forty six. Yeah, this is the pad you stand on to throw the frisbee. Ah, oh. there's the hole. See the basket? Ooh, that explains that that new wood on that bridge. Yeah. This tree snapped off and went right across. Oh. Because if you look over there, you can see there's the rest so of the that, tree. Yeah. So a tree must have came down and broke that bridge. Didn't we see some of those over that way? What? The baskets. Um, I don't think so. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong.
All right, I guess we'll head back up the trail. I, uh, I took a little break. My leg's starting to bother me from the weather that's coming. So I'm getting a little angry. But uh, and it actually worked out perfect because right, right as I sat down, we were sitting down for just a few minutes and then Kurt called asking a question. Um, but then I ended up getting to FaceTime for a few minutes and show him the, the waterfall here. So <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. All right, so off we go. Michael. What? PennDOT will be closing the roads February 29th through the 31st to fix all of the potholes. So it's only going to be closed one day? Yep. Yeah. But did you hear the dates? Yep. Yeah, I heard the dates. That's why I said so it's only going to be closed one day. Did I hear the dates? She said 20, 29 to 31. This year's a leap year. 29 days in a month. This is the step of death right here. As in, if you don't step correct, you're probably going to die when you smack your head off of one of these rocks. <laughs> Is this your first boardwalk trail you've ever been on? Yeah. Okay. So remind me sometime we need to go to Wildwood. Is that the big that way? The dam. But it's nothing that we haven't already seen. It's just the lake. If you look, it says Burger Dam Trails that way. <laughs> I mean, this park really isn't all that big. Okay, note to self, do not step on the leaves on this trail. I could have told you that. It's like I was trying to do a burnout with my shoes. Oh, I see what's up there. There's another hole up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> That explains why that's not marked, because it's just part of the disc golf course. I'm curious. Just remember, I had nothing to do with this one. Uh-huh. Well, it's steep there. Eighteen. No, fourteen. Yeah, I know. I couldn't see what the other one was. The other one's off to the right a little bit. She forgets I'm like a foot taller than her. So I should mess with her and keep walking up the trail. <laughs> That's kind of neat. This looks almost like a like a vine growing, but it's not. It's actually pretty cool.
and she's already on her way back so it must be just a disc golf of this up there like I'm thinking it is because there's only like two or three trails on this whole park the one we're on now the dam trail and then the, the loop that goes on to the other side of the lake so there's really not much here as far as trails go apart from this part but this is like I said disc golf <laughs> so you see that part you're on right now where it's like uphill and there's like a board and it's just a, a steep drop off right here yeah. that's how the one spot and double run is except you're already like 40 feet up like how high we are from here down it's like that but it's it's steeper and about what do you think Kurt four or five times longer than that that's my guess it's quite a bit longer and steeper too at least you know there if you fall you fall down on the other part of the trail on double run if you fall well you're probably smacking your head off a rock in the creek make sure you watch your footing coming down that little spot there reasons well it doesn't look steep on video but it's it's steeper than it looks obviously by the fact your feet are like you know <laughs> better you to me Better you than me. All right, now we can make it back to the house. Yeah, so that that goes over to the gazebo and then out across the dam. Oh. That's all that really is. Nice cut up for the tree. Mm hmm Well, that sign there talks about it. Man, you get a d different perspective here on how that tree is just hanging off the side of the hill. <sighs> hey, Michael, is that your pet friend? No, that was down at the waterfall. I wish it was like this every day when I try to go out somewhere where the wind is basically non-existent. That and it's like 50 degrees. <laughs> Winter's coming back with a vengeance tonight and tomorrow. Right. Everyone gets excited when Fox County Phil sees their shadow and there's six weeks less of winter not realizing. Either way, if he sees their shadow or not, it's still going to be another six more weeks of winter. Oh. Meteorological winter stops March 1st meteorological winter is December 1st to March 1st 
March 1st to May 31st is spring. Summer is June 1st to September 30th. No, August 31st. Fall, September 1st to October 30th. 